It's Friday Favorites and Flaps. I hope you guys had a great week. Do you notice something different? I moved a bunch of furniture in this room to try and come up with a different background. So you guys are gonna have to tell me how you like this. Because, <laughs> honestly, if you guys walked into this room and saw the other background, you would be like, what in the, like what in the, because the other background had like my, this drawer set just sitting in the middle of the room. I don't know, I don't know. I just wanted something in the background because this is like our guest bedroom, but I think I can make this background work in here if you guys like it, if the lighting is good and everything. So you're gonna have to let me know. So it is my Friday favorites. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. I am gonna be filming my monthly favorites. It's gonna be a little bit late. You guys, I just couldn't even want to this week. There was just something about this week that Every single time I sat down to film my favorites, I was like, I can't. I cannot even want to. There was always This is like right before summer kicks in. I always have this like lag where I feel like I have so many different things to do with my kids and that kind of thing that I just like <laughs> give up. So this summer I'm going to try really hard to keep on a schedule. It's going to be difficult for me to find filming, but just bear with me. I'm going to do the best that I can. So this week I have to talk about these Pro Longwear eyeshadows from MAC. I recently heard that they are discontinuing them. Yes, like why MAC? Why do you do this to us? Why do you discontinue products? Because now everyone needs to go out and get these and I'm not even kidding that you need to go and get them. So they're still on the Max website. I have them in the pan form, but they have them in pot form. They're more expensive. So I recommend you be getting them in, I recommend you be getting them, but I recommend you get them in the pan form. Uh, these do not stick in a Z palette. I just wanna let you know that. They don't stick in a Z palette. They only stick in the MAC palettes. I don't know why that is, but the magnets on these don't work in a Z palette. Um, but anyways, I have several colors that I just wanted to show you that are standouts from the line. And the first one is the shade right here. This is called Carefree. It is carefree. It is loving and free. These are so soft and they really do wear a long time. It is like a buttery white gold shade. It has a sheen to it. It is the highlight that I'm wearing on my cheeks. It is the eyeshadow I'm wearing on my lid. I would roll around and bathe in it if I could. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the perfect... Okay, I can't even show you because... It's not even showing up as great and as beautiful as it is, but I'm gonna have to zoom in at the end and show you the gloriosity of this because it is like the most beautiful butter, buttery, which doesn't sound like that's pretty, but like almost like a light pale yellow, white gold sheen, soft, finely milled gorgeousness eyeshadow ever. Beautiful, so that's called Carefree. You have to get it before it goes extinct. And then this one was another must have and it is in the color Sweet Satisfaction. I don't have this one on today, but I wore this one yesterday. It's just a really nice, I would say like almost very light rosy golden shade. It's just a beautiful shade and these are all very finely milled. Again, they stay on. Um, I have these two in my crease right here. This one is Bloom On. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Bloom On, which is just like a very pale, uh, a very pale pink color. And then this one is Marvelous right here. And that's just a really beautiful matte mauve color. Let me get some swatches going on for you so that you can really see. Okay, and then the color that you absolutely have to get and you're gonna be sad if you miss out on it, so don't, I don't wanna hear any tears later. When you missed out on it, you just go and do it now while it's still there, it's uninterrupted. This looks like a poopy brown color, like a little bit of a baby poopy color, but it is beautiful, a beautiful camel color in the crease, and I have that in my crease on my lower lash line today. It's 
absolutely gorgeous and these like I said stay all day I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see the swatches but these are just like the most perfection eyeshadows ever and I really don't want anyone to miss out on them the two standouts that I would say that you absolutely need to get are the carefree color and uninterrupted but I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see them up close okay this is the uninterrupted color this is the carefree color it still isn't even translating how beautiful it is. Sweet Satisfaction. This one is the Marvelous, and this is Bloom On. These two are in my crease. This one I don't have on today. This is on my lid. This is in my crease as well and on my lower lash line. So these eyeshadows are beautiful must-haves if you ask me. Like such beautiful creamy buttery shades and they last on the eye. They blend in so well. So they're being discontinued. Go to MAC and get them. Okay, two blushes that I've used actually throughout this month, but really a lot this week, and I'm wearing this one today, are these Maybelline Master Highlight Blushes. I used this in a tutorial, I think a couple weeks back, and I, I had pulled it out for that, and I haven't been able to put it down since. This one is in Nude, and this one is in Pink Rose. These are stunning. They have like a patchwork-like quality to them, so when you um, blend them all together. They really create a nice shade with a mix of shimmer. This one is the nude one It works as a great as like a blush topper crud. I need to use my other hand. Hang on just a second So these work great as a blush topper But this one is a really nice peachy color if you are Right there if you are fair skin this shows up on me as like a really nice light peachy shimmery blush color and then this one right here in Pink Rose is just beautiful. It's like, it reminds me a lot on my cheeks as what Charlotte Tilbury's Love Glow looks like, but a little bit more pink. So that one is the Pink Rose right there. And again, just a really nice pink shimmery. Can you see the sheen on those blush? I love these affordable from the drugstore again that's the pink one that I'm using right now or wearing right now so I just run my I use a real techniques blush brush in them and just kind of buff them into my cheeks and it's a beautiful sheen Th this nude one I think will be perfect for the summer because you again you can use it as a topper but it does have that really nice peachy goldenness to it so you can really just use it all over the cheeks for that like JLo glow this is just a gorgeous pink blush if you're looking for something with a nice sheen it doesn't have glitter in it it's that really really buttery finely milled color so love those two Definite must-haves as far as blushes go, especially um, for the affordability and the accessibility of them being at the drugstore. Okay, another drugstore product that I've been loving. So e.l.f. sent me a bunch of products, which I am, I have them sit, sitting right over there and I'm going to do an unboxing or like a haul with them just to show you guys what I got and show you like different products and I think I'm going to do like a full face look. One of the products that stood out, which I hadn't, hadn't heard anything about it, um, but I did see my friend Cassie from Shades of Cassie was talking about this. It's the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And yeah, I tried this out, and I, at that time I hadn't heard anyone really talk about it. And I was like, this thing is amazing. How come nobody is really talking about this? But it is just a really great pencil, um, eyebrow pencil. I like the consistency of the wax. I really like the color for me. It's more of like an ashy brown color. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of super warm tones in it where I feel like it looks funny in my eyebrows. That is what I have on my eyebrows today. I've been using this all week. Really, really like it. I like that it's a retractable pencil. Um, this on the other end isn't as good as the, like, a... Anastasia Brow is, but it is still like a nice and firm one um, to comb through the brows. So really been liking this and I believe it's around $3. So that's really, really nice. The e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil, pick that up. Definitely a must have from that line. Okay, so for my lip combination, I've worn this a couple of times. I posted on Instagram. One night my husband went to play poker with some friends and I was like, you know what? I am feeling bored. I was about to wash off all my makeup and I decided to just play around. I was like inspired by the new Urban Decay Naked, or is it called the Naked Smoky palette or Smoky Naked? I don't know. I think Naked Smoky. 
smoky naked. That just sounds not right. I always love when I'm talking about Urban Decay Naked Palette around people who don't know anything about makeup and you're like, oh yeah, the Naked Palette. And people are like, arr, arr. <laughs> like my in-laws, they're like, what the, are you, what are you talking about? You know, but I say it like as if everyone should know. Um, but I was playing around with that palette, like I get so off topic. I was playing around with that palette, not that palette. Okay. Let me start over. I had seen, I saw that that palette was coming out and I pulled out my old, <laughs> my naked original palette and I started playing around being inspired by the new Smoky palette and I pulled out the color Mushroom I think from Urban Decay and I hadn't played with that shadow in a long time and I used a combination of the Naked 1 palette and the Naked 2 palette and then the color Mushroom and I did this like amazing dark smoky eye that I would never it was like a cool tone charcoal dark smoky eye that I would never really think to do because it's just so dramatic and I put on these huge dramatic house of lashes lashes that I could fly away with I was just having fun playing around I posted the pictures on Instagram and you guys were all like oh I love it I love it so I think I'm gonna film a tutorial on it or not a tutorial but like a get ready with me something like that Anyways, I switched the lip color in the middle of it and I came up with this combination and I've worn it every single day since and it is using the Sephora Nano Lips lip liner. I can't get the plastic off of this one, but um, I've had this one for a while. It's in Candid Candy is the color and it's like a really nice, it's like a nub now, I need to sharpen it, but it's a really nice pale, pale pink nude shade right there. So I line my lips with that and then one of my favorite lipsticks is from Marc Jacobs. This is in Strange Magic. It is a very, very pale nude pink color and I love it, but it's very, very pale. I'll let you know that. This is in the new repackaged uh, and reformulated, the Shears, but it's still the same color and that is Strange Magic. So I have that lip liner and then Strange Magic and then I've been topping it with these Lorac um, Ultra Eagle lip glosses. I love these lip glosses. They're seriously amazing. These and the Anastasia and the Drug Cosmetics lip glosses are like my favorites. But this is in the color Goddess, which is a beautiful mauve shade. I know I've talked about it before when they first came out. I just put that all over this lip combination and it just gives it a little bit more of like that mauve tone to it and darkens it a little bit. So it's that gloss on top, and that's the lip combination. I love this lip combination, especially with these Pro Long Wear eyeshadows that I've been wearing, these two in the crease. And I just love the lip combination. It's been one of my favorites, and all three of those products are like go-to products for me. Like I said, this is one of my favorite nude lips ever. These um, Sephora liners are only $5. They have a ton of different colors. These are the Nano ones. I am going to film my top Sephora picks, like Sephora favorites as in Sephora brand favorites because a lot of you guys expressed that you'd like to see that because I have a lot of products, makeup, skincare, all that kind of brushes from Sephora that I love, love so much. So a lot of people expressed that they'd be interested in that type of video. I'm definitely going to be filming that. Um, but those nano liners are amazing and $5. So they have a lot of different colors. Uh, but this is a really nice pale, pale color, the Candid, what is that called again? I can't even remember, like I have a memory of a goldfish right now. Candid Candy, do it, okay? Candid Candy, $5. It's almost like Candid Camera, uh, which is a dream of mine, if you didn't know. I've always wanted to be on Candid Camera or I've wanted to witness someone on Candid Camera or like, I want to be punked, I want to punk someone else, like something like that. Like I think of different scenarios, my friend Courtney and I have thought of different scenarios our whole lives, like, okay, what if we're in a restaurant and we have this spoon and we just like, it's like one of those spoons you can like jack up like an antenna and you just like make it really long and then you just like go over and reach over someone's shoulder and like dip your spoon in and then you're like, oh thanks, oh that's so good, like at a restaurant and just have them be like, 
homie say what? Or I would love for someone to just like walk up to me on my plate and like just grab a bite of my food and be like, yeah, I think I'll have that. Something like that. That's just like one that I have in mind. If I'm ever going to punk someone or like be on candy camera, I'm going to do that. And um, yeah. I don't know, is that a weird thing that I can't stop thinking about? Like every time something super weird happens to me, I'm always like, am I on candy camera? Or I'll tell my friend and I'm like, I was seriously waiting for the cameras to roll out and be like, you're on candy camera. Anyone? <laughs> you guys are probably like, wow, Tangent City. But anyways, I hope you guys had a wonderful week. I'm excited about this weekend because Dana and her son Landon are coming to stay with me and my family. We have a jam-packed time for the kids, so I'm really excited about that. And we're going to be doing a lot of different fun stuff. We're going to go to the Home Depot, uh, like that. Uh, first Saturdays, they have like Home Depot crafts uh, free for your kids. So the first Saturday of the month, check a Home Depot near you. We're going to take the kids to do that in a craft. I usually take my kids and I'm like working overtime trying to hammer all that stuff out because my youngest one, like she's kind of really just there for the ride and like the painting and stuff, but they all like to go and like create the little crafts. So anyways, again, another tangent, but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. As always, leave your favorites down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.